In the previous lecture, we discussed the mass spectrometer. Now, let's actually look at the following example in which we're going to use the mass spectrometer to determine what the mass is of a certain particle. So, let's suppose a particle is traveling through a mass spectrometer in a region of space where the electric field is 1,500 volts per meter and the magnetic field is 0.034 Tesla. So that region of space is given by the following region. So within this region, we have a particle that is traveling through an electric field and a magnetic field given by these two quantities. Now, the magnetic and electric forces as a result of these two fields in this region acting on our particle exactly balance one another out so that it follows a straight pathway. Our particle follows the following straight pathway as depicted by these dashed lines. Now, when the particle enters the region of space where there is only a magnetic field, this region, it follows a curved pathway with a radius of 0.027 meters. So the radius of this semicircular pathway is given by 0.027 meters. And the magnitude of magnetic field B in this region is the same as our magnitude of magnetic field B in that region. So we want to calculate the mass of our molecule, the mass of our particle, knowing that the charge is equal to positive 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 coulombs. So, we're going to solve this example in two steps. In step one, we want to calculate the magnitude of the velocity. We want to calculate the speed that our particle experiences as it travels in the following pathway. Notice the speed of our particle is the same in this region as it is in this region. Now, we want to calculate the speed because in part two we can use the speed to calculate what our mass is. So, let's begin with part one. Find the speed of the particle. So, we're going to begin by examining this region of space. In this region of space, the magnitude of our force as a result of the magnetic field is equal to the magnitude of our force as a result of our electric field. So, the magnetic force is equal to the electric force in this region. So, the magnetic force is given by Q, the charge, multiplied by V, the velocity, multiplied by B, the magnetic field, is equal to the electric force, which is Q, the charge, multiplied by the electric field. So, the Q's will cancel. They appear on both sides. And V, the velocity, is equal to E divided by V. So, the velocity is equal to 1,500 volts per meter divided by 0.034 Teslas. And that gives us about 4.4 times 10 to the 4 meters per second. Now, let's move on to the second step. In the second step, we want to calculate the mass using our velocity. Now, we begin by applying the second law of motion. According to Newton's second law of motion, the sum of the forces acting on our particle as it travels along this pathway is equal to the mass of the particle multiplied by its centripetal acceleration. So the only force acting on our particle in this region is the magnetic force. So the magnetic force is equal to the mass times the centripetal acceleration. Now, centripetal acceleration is equal to the velocity squared divided by r. And the magnetic force is given by qv multiplied by b. So we can solve for our mass, and we see that the mass is equal to q multiplied by r multiplied by b divided by v. Now, we know what the Q is, it's given to be this quantity. The B is given to be that quantity, and the R is given to be 0.027 meters. So, we found the V in part 1, we plug that in, and we find that the mass of our particle is about 3.33 times 10 to negative 27 kilograms. 